Thank you, Dave. I am here with my favorite elf, Marty. Is he not precious? Two things we're going to talk about right now with Marty and Marty's Human. That would be giving a pet as a Christmas gift and some hazards for pets during the holidays that you may not think about. Dr. Andy Sokol is the human I referred to uh, from Caldwell Mill Animal Clinic. So thank you for bringing Marty. Marty's got the elf hat on and looking great. I'm just his driver. Yeah, you are. You're just, uh, <laughs> just getting him from point A to point B. Um, first thoughts on giving a pet as a Christmas gift. It, it's a wonderful concept. <laughs> it's a great concept, uh -huh. but it's not always a good idea. All right. If you're going to give a pet, don't surprise somebody. Ask them. Consult with them because it's a 10, 15-year commitment. Mm -hmm. So you always want to at least consult with someone who you're going to give the gift to and kind of tailor the gift of the pet towards that family. What do you want? What are you looking for? Let me help you buy something. <clears throat> but it's not always a good idea. Always right. consult with the recipient before you do that. Come January, you probably get some new pet owners, oh, sure. uh, uh, you know, who are a little frazzled by the whole thing. Let's talk about hazards. You always tell us hazards we may not think of. So run through a list for us. Um, sure. Um, As you give Marty a treat. That's why Marty is not shaking because Marty's nervous. Marty is, is, first, is excited about food. Let me address his outfit. Yes. Um, he had some Christmas pajamas, but he would not. He didn't want them. He stood still. So pajamas, clothing for Christmas can be a hazard. Like this elf hat. It's really mm -hmm. cute for you and I. And he's like, why do I have it on? Yeah. But this little tag that's hanging off can get caught on something. Aww. The hat can come back and it can <gasps> be okay. tied around his neck. Yeah. So we're going to take it off and there let him just go. use his scarf. Sure. The other thing to keep in mind is the scarf that's hanging down, it can get caught in debris. It can get caught near a fireplace. Mm -hmm. So always, if you're going to dress up your pets like Marty's dress for uh, Christmas, um, pay attention to, to any hazards that can go along with that. Um, Christmas trees, loads mm. of hazards for cats and for dogs. Just yesterday we took um, an ornament out of a dog's stomach named June. And what happened is this English bulldog pulled off um, one of the ornaments and it was attached to a pine cone on the Christmas tree oh, no. and it had the hook attached. <gasps> So um, if you're going to have, if you have dogs in a Christmas tree, be sure you put your ornaments out of dogs right. and cats reach. Cats like to climb the trees. That's a problem in itself. Right. Other things that are on the Christmas tree that you have to be aware of is if you string up popcorn, that's just a bunch of food oh, hanging from the snack. tree. Right. Exactly. Um, so, and this happened to me a few years ago. Someone gave me a gift and I, that was wrapped up under the tree and it was chocolate covered pecans. Oh, and wow. I didn't know there was can, uh, chocolate in there. And I came home one day and my dog Popeye, not Marty, got into it, ripped it to shreds and he had eaten it. And I didn't know what it was. Smart, smart, So smart. I had to call the give her and say, hey, Marty just ate what, or right. what was Popeye it? just yeah. ate it. Well, so, Andy, as always, thank you so much for that. Uh, Marty's going to take a nap. I, I may as well. So good to see you. Good. Thanks for having me. I hope June's okay, by the way. We'll be right back <laughs> with the CBS 42 Morning News.